welcome to the 2023 Mini Countryman review. As a stylish compact crossover, the Countryman is the largest model produced by the British automaker but also one of the smallest SUVs on the market today. While it may be less practical than most other SUVs due to its small size, it is easier to park and maneuver. Additionally, it is distinctive inside and out and fun to drive thanks to nimble handling and quick acceleration from the Cooper S and John Cooper Works versions. For those looking for a more eco-friendly option, Mini offers a plug-in hybrid version of the Countryman called the SE All 4. However, it only provides a short amount of all-electric range, about 17 miles, before switching to typical hybrid operation. This may not be ideal for some drivers looking for a longer all-electric range. In terms of new features, the Countryman has added a special edition for 2023, the Untamed Edition, which adds more visual flair to an already stylish vehicle. Unfortunately, the base Cooper and Classic models were discontinued mid-year. If you're in the market for a small crossover, the Countryman is worth considering. However, its appeal mostly comes down to being different rather than being great. The Buick Encore GX, Mazda CX-30 and Volkswagen Taos are more well-rounded picks for an extra small crossover. Driving-wise, the Cooper S version of the Countryman is capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a respectable 7.1 seconds. The steering is accurate and gives you a decent feel of the road, making it a fun drive on a twisty road. However, the brakes can be grabby and abrupt in slow-moving traffic. The Countryman's ride is firm, which may not be ideal for buyers new to Mini. The front seats feel firm and confining at first, but ultimately offer good support over longer distances. Road noise is commendably low, but the Countryman's near vertical windshield and frameless side windows create noticeable wind noise. Inside, the Countryman's distinctive-looking interior has not changed much in quite some time. The controls are easy to figure out, and the knob for the infotainment system helps you quickly navigate most of the high-level functions. Thanks to the Countryman's raised ride height, getting in and out is fairly easy. Inside, all passengers will enjoy more room than you might expect given the profile view of the Countryman. The Countryman's infotainment system features a long and narrow screen that looks a bit small compared to its competition, but it has crisp graphics and good contrast, making it easy to read. However, it lacks Android Auto compatibility, which is a downside for Android users. The Harman Kardon audio system provides clean sound with ample power. In terms of storage, the Countryman offers a modest 17.6 cubic feet of cargo capacity, which is less than competitors such as the Audi Q3 and Mercedes-Benz GLB. However, the Mini does have 40-20-40 split folding rear seats, but the seat back releases are only accessible from the rear passenger doors, not the cargo area. The Countryman S with all-wheel drive gets an EPA estimated 26 mpg combined, which is slightly better than the class average. During our mixed driving evaluation, our test vehicle managed 28.8 mpg, 
indicating the EPA's estimates are accurate. However, premium fuel is recommended. In terms of value, the Countryman is typically priced higher than small SUVs such as the Buick Trailblazer and Mazda CX-30 but less than luxury models like the Audi Q. Overall, the 2023 Mini Countryman is a distinctive and fun-to-drive crossover that's worth considering if you're looking for.